All right, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in, I'm going to, Olathe, Kansas. If I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments. But we're going to be checking out another brand new home from another brand new builder, and I think you guys are really going to like it. So let me turn you around, and I'll tell you all about it. I think y'all are absolutely going to love this home. I, I do, just because the colors in it and the design, it's just so much fun. It makes me happy when I see it. But uh, this is from David Clementi Construction. This is 25064 West 112th Terrace, and it features four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a three-car garage, and all of that is sitting inside of 3,182 square feet. I mean, I, just the surround around the garage looks cool, how it pokes out. You've got the wood accents over here, tons of monopitches happening across the home, and then this door, just like this neon green door, is absolutely Awesome, maybe it's yellow, I don't know. You can let me know about that in the comments. Uh, this home is currently listed for $779,900. And with that, let's get inside and see what all we can find. All right, here we go. I mean, whew, just as soon as you walk in, get a load of the height of this ceiling in here. I love it so much. I think it adds uh, so much to the overall feel of the home as well when you first walk in. And of course, you've got that great big window array too, letting in all of the natural light. But turning you back around, this is your foyer when you do first walk in the home. So you've got that nice modern front door. You've got a little cutout up here so you can put some, some decorations and stuff. And then you've got a couple doors. This one right here, though, is a secret, and you're going to have to wait until a little bit later on to find out where it goes. This one, though, I will show you. So this is a coat closet. Just as soon as you walk in. Tons of room in here. And then on the opposite side, is almost like a full-on guest suite or in-law suite, or uh, you can use the front room as an office if you wanted to. But this door right here can shut, and then you've got a fully enclosed uh, suite, whatever you want to call it, you know what I mean? So uh, we'll start here in the bathroom. You've got the single vanity, the toilet, and then a shower and tub with a nice tile surround. Kind of a cool low profile tub. We've seen those in a few spots. But I love how like the mono pitch uh, has continued. And that's, it's literally, I think it's in every room uh, within the house. So you just get these soaring ceilings, super tall, a lot of height. Uh, I like that a lot. And then you've got a linen closet in between the ensuite and the room up front. So you could literally use this for whatever, you know what I mean? So if you wanted to use it for an office, if you wanted to use it for an in-law suite, um, the sky's the limit. It meets all the requirements uh, for a bedroom. So let me know, like, what are you thinking for it? It's kind of cool in terms of like a little studio or a little office space. I love the artwork. Uh, in here as well. And actually, a uh, cool little side note, all the artwork um, is from Deb Clementi, uh, which is pretty neat. So she is one of the owners of David Clementi Construction. So uh, all of that is featured throughout the home. And I think it just, it works so well. It's almost as if they took her artwork and kind of designed this home based off of it, which is fun. I don't know. Maybe at least the color palettes anyway. But then as you continue down the foyer, you open up into all of the common spaces again with the roof pitches, which is super nice. Huge window array. The day has gotten beautiful. It started out a little gray uh, in the first few homes and then it's evening time now. So it's about 6.30ish. So the, the skies have opened up and it, it's awesome. 
So you've got this huge fireplace going all the way up to the ceiling. I like this aluminum uh, inlay. That looks pretty neat. A little different for an accent wall. Now this one, I was talking to them uh, when I first got here, they were walking me through the home and stuff. And there's actually, they didn't, they don't, since they, they like artwork and stuff, they didn't uh, want to mount a TV above the fireplace, which I think a lot of y'all uh, talk about in the comments all the time too. So if you did want one, there are connections behind the wall that you could bring forward. Uh, and then you also have a couple spots over here so that you could, you know, mount a TV as well if you wanted to, but you know, fireplace, they built it with showcasing cool pieces of artwork in mind. And then from there, we start transitioning into the kitchen space. So quartz countertops here in the kitchen, beautiful white cabinetry, some fun pendant lights hanging down over the top of the island. Plenty of room for space here on the front side. Let's get over here to the back side. So we've got the dishwasher under mount sink looking back out into the living room and then trash can drawer and soft closed cabinets. That's nice. All of the floors, hardwood, white oak, pretty neat. Love the color, very light and airy feeling here within the house as well. Uh, now, I don't normally give this type of stuff, but I found it interesting and thought you might like it. So uh, all of the exterior walls are done up in two by sixes, which is pretty neat. And I'll show you, you kind of see how like they round the edges right here. And they do that towards the windowsills too. And I just think it adds like a different touch, a different feel to the home. But anyway, you've got your refrigerator cubby hole right there. You've got a built-in microwave over the top of this little buffet area, prep area. I don't know, what, whatever you would put here. Would you put like a coffee stand station thing here? Or would you put like your bread box or something? I'm not real sure. Would that go in one of these big drawers? And then you have the pantry. I haven't been in here yet. It's actually quite spacious. Got some space to it. And then along the back wall, again, keeping with these nice bright colors. You know, I was thinking when I first walked in here, I was like, this is cool. It's almost like a cottagey vibe mixed with the modern flair, like an ultra modern flair. I love it. It's just a piece of artwork is what the home itself is, which is neat. So gorgeous tile backsplash, got the stainless range hood, the range, and then again, some really nice cabinets, some adjustable shelves in there, perusing around. I love these big ones. Look how big these things are in there, everywhere. All over the place. All right, real quick before we go any further in this home, have you been dreaming of building the perfect home, but you've just been struggling to find the right plans? I know there's tons of them out there and we tour a whole bunch of them. Most of the time, the homes that we tour are in completely different areas from maybe where you are. But now you don't have to worry about it. I'm super excited to announce that we've officially partnered with ProfessionalHomePlans.com. It was founded by a group of people that we know, like, and trust and have worked with and toured their homes for several years now. The cool thing about ProfessionalHomePlans.com is they bring you a wide variety of different plans, whether you're looking for the ultra modern style home or you're looking for a traditional craftsman or anything in between, they have plans available to be purchased nationwide. But that's not all. With ProfessionalHomePlans.com, you can work with their incredible designers to customize each home to make it your ideal dream home. Each plan includes a cover sheet, foundation plan, floor plans, exterior elevations, building sections, roof plans, building details, and basic electrical plans. You know, that is one of the things that people are always reaching out to us about. How can they go about getting different home plans? So, here it is. While not all floor plans are going to be available from the homes that we tour, this is gonna provide the widest variety and the biggest selection for you to choose from. And like we said, 
they are customizable. So go ahead and visit professionalhomeplans.com and get your dream home underway. And while you're over there, let them know that Timothy sent you. Let's get back to the tour. And then uh, through the kitchen area, you come to the dining room space. Nice and cozy. And then of course you've got access out onto the back patio. Which is nice, I like the slats back here. I think that looks really cool. Again, you've got the monopitch here too with a kind of like a, a wood ceiling, a fun ultra modern fan. Yeah, we'll scope out the back elevation. We really haven't been doing that too much lately. And then from here, I think there's, so there's two bedrooms here on the main level, and then there are two down in the basement. They actually call this uh, like a reverse one and a half story, something like that. Uh, just because I guess here in Kansas or in this region of the country, uh, you know, since there are <laughs> a lot of tornadoes, uh, I guess, I guess that's the reason um, they put, you know, they build down instead of up. So I don't know. I mean, I've been in some two-story homes, but at the same time, makes sense. But uh, this is the master bedroom. Again, kind of keeping with that same aluminum inlay accent wall that we saw out in the fireplace, which is pretty neat. And again, really tall pitch ceilings here in the bedroom. And then from there, now this is fun, right? So coming into the ensuite, the design style here was that if you took this wall all the way up, it makes the room feel boxy, right? But instead with more of like this partition or half wall, it definitely makes the the bathroom just feel open, like it continues to go. So I thought that was neat, wanted to point that out real quick. And then the shower, these guys don't believe in shower doors um, and that the shower is big enough that you don't necessarily need one. However, if you wanted to add something, you could obviously, uh, or you could put a curtain up. But if there's no shower door, there's no mildew or mold or anything like that that you have to worry about cleaning. But then you also have double vanities in here, huge mirror, great big transom window. And then on either side, we've got these nice big linen closets. And there's actually a lot of cabinets. So I'm really interested, like this is, I, I would definitely have to say that this is a, a really unique home in terms of you know, like the layout and the style. This is the water closet. Um, so I, I, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think about it. Because I, I know there's going to be a variety of different opinions. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm tickled by it to tell you the truth. And then the doors, they're all the same. They've got like this modern flair to them, which is cool. And they kept the trim white matching all the walls to make the doors pop, which is cool. And I think it definitely does that, which is pretty unique. And then from there, we've wrapped through the master closet and into the laundry room slash mud room. So I love the color of these cabinets, almost like a mossy green color, maybe like a pastel-y, I don't know, maybe mossy. But you've got your prep sink in here, washer dryer hookups. You've got some cabinet space up above that. And then back behind us, keeping with the white oak, it's white oak bench again, aluminum inlay, which is neat. And then this door right here actually leads out into the garage. 
We'll get out here, kind of cruise around a little bit. So three car. They even kept the pitch here in the garage, which is pretty neat. Let's see, is there anything else over here? Not seeing too much. And then you remember that door that I was talking about at the beginning? Did you stick around long enough to find out? If you did, <laughs> it's this door. And it leads back out into the foyer, which is neat. I didn't even point it out. You might've already seen it. You got some transom windows up here in the living room too, kind of where the, the pitches meet, which is nice. All right, and then you've got stainless kind of, I don't, I don't know what you would call these. What would you call these? Like just railings, why? I don't know. Uh, but that's pretty neat, looks a little different. But down here at the bottom of the stairs, there are tons of things happening. Look at all these doors. Everywhere. We'll go ahead and start over here to the right-hand side. So this is some finished storage space. And you've got the water heater, the furnace, and then the sump pump, all stored in here. You have a bathroom, single vanity, black granite countertops, toilet, and then your shower and tub, again. Tile surround, nice low profile tub. And then this is, uh, I've already walked through this whole home. So <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. But anyway, uh, I was saying that to tell you that there are linen closets. There's one here and then there's one at the end of the hall. And on in the middle of both of those are two secondary bedrooms. So the egress behind us, good bit of space in here. The closet, this one's got a couple different tiers to it. And then around the corner, I think this is pretty much a mirror image of the one we just came out of. It's got a little bulkhead over there. I'm not gonna open up both doors on this one. And then all the way down the hall, like I said, another linen closet, or you can use it for like storage closet for like games and stuff. But then you open up into this kind of activity room, like a rec room. So let me know what you're gonna do down here. You've got a little spot for a refrigerator, almost like a wet bar with a little prep sink and then tons of storage. I actually, I love this backsplash. I love the patterns on it. I think that's cool. Just a bunch of different fun designs. Some understair storage. Is there a light in here? No. And then this is a, another bonus room. So the whole home has four bedrooms in total. This one could be a fifth if you wanted to do that, or you could turn it into a gym. You could turn it into a craft room, hobby room. You could do one of those, uh, what's, I don't know, <laughs> just making things up, but uh, let me know what you would do with it down in the comments. Uh, and then all the way at the back, this could be a closet if you did turn it into a bedroom, or this could just be where you store all your stuff and forget about it somewhere at the back of your hobby room, which 
That's what happens to me. All right, y'all let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. I love the fact that it's just so open and airy with all the windows, the high ceilings, and the colors. Like the colors, I love that in this home, especially like that front door, I think it's awesome. Anyway, if you want any more information on this model or David Clemente Construction, you can click that link right there in the description. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the tour. I hope you have a fantastic day. And as always, my name is Timothy. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.